Hi, right, Rachel. Thank you. Well, there are ongoing efforts to help build a more accurate history through the Witness Stones Project in the greater Hartford area. Fox 61's race and culture reporter Raquel Harrington is sharing how the Witness Stones West Hartford is working to make this happen and how you can learn about the history. A mission in the making, restoring history and honoring humanity of those enslaved in the Northeast. Many people in town have no idea that there was slavery here. This is why the Witness Stones West Hartford is working to amplify the voices and stories that are often silenced and overlooked. They're offering free virtual classes starting Thursday that'll span across four weeks. I just think it will raise awareness in town of the um, of the injustices on which the town was built. Tracy Wilson is the co-director with the Witness Stones West Hartford Project. She says these classes are essential to moving forward as a community. So we, we like to say that we are providing a more accurate story of the past and we really need to know that story to deal with the present. Co-director Elizabeth Devine says the goal is to change the town's cultural landscape. You know, we want to call people in, not call people out. We want people to understand why it's important to understand the history, but also to move forward understanding what this town was like in the 1700s. Now, when the project started four years ago, they had 29 names of enslaved people. Now they know the names of over 80 people in West Hartford. We use public records, wills, uh, count books, census records, it's all there. You have to dig a little, but it is in plain sight. So each person researched by the Witness Stones West Hartford is honored in a lasting way right here in the Old Center Cemetery with a commemorative plaque. Now, right now they have 36, but come this summer on Juneteenth, they'll be adding 14 more, which includes the two people they'll be talking about in these virtual sessions. Such a great opportunity for us to remember people who lived here in West Hartford, who contributed to society. For CT Cultured in West Hartford, Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.